Today on Steve's Indies, we are talking about one of the greats in independent cinema and one of my personal favourites, Lost in Translation, starring Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson. Before we start, I just want to say there are no spoilers, so don't worry about any plot spoils. I will not be doing anything like that. And if you like this video and haven't already subscribed, then please do so. Give me a massive help. And if you like this video, then hit that thumbs up. When the great Ford Coppola, and that's Sophia, not Francis, decided to take a second stab at a feature film, she was scoffed at, mainly due to her first film, The Virgin Suicides in 1999, and the fact it didn't resonate with the target audience at the time. It wasn't very good. I mean, not that it was terrible, but considering she was living up to the legend of her father's work, it was just kind of yeah. But luckily for her, the next film, written and directed by herself, became a cult success and was able to make a pleasant dent in the legend of indie cinema. Lost in Translation is a 2003 rom-com that delves deep into isolation, disconnection and ultimately romance. It's a fish out of water film about a forgotten movie star who appears as having a kind of hysterical midlife crisis and cultural awakening in Tokyo, Japan. Personally, I do think that Bill Murray was perfectly casted in this film. I mean, I wouldn't say that he's irrelevant today, I mean, it's very, very far from it, but his comedy style, attitude, and just this overall look that he has is everything that the character of Bob Harris is. With scenes of hilarious cultural displacement, it's very entertaining to see this. I've never really been to Japan, but I know that I would probably be in the same situation. I'll do exactly the same things, and I do believe that that speaks volumes to the relatability of this film, which is one of its biggest strengths. So Bob is shortly joined by the character of Charlotte, another American that is out of odds, kind of following her husband to Tokyo, he's a professional photographer, and she basically leaves her old life behind. Unaware of each other staying in the same hotel, they are miraculously as if fate brought them together by two things they both enjoy, a show and a stiff drink at the bar. So they begin to form a connection, and this is where Lost in Translation starts to come into its own and showcase the ideals and themes that Coppola is trying to show us. The relationship is instantly very likeable and chemistry is what drives this film. Having and sharing almost everything in common, it's a real testament to just how well this film is written by Coppola and the people that she employed as part of this film. I believe that one of the writers was one of Bill Murray's friends. For me, it's just a massive giant tick in the career of Sophia Ford Coppola. So as I said, there are no spoilers, but what I will say is that the film is very unconventional and in great independent film style it might not necessarily give the audience what they want or more importantly what they thought was going to happen at the end of it so just a fun fact while sophia was premiering her first feature film the virgin suicides which i mentioned before she began forming the story of of lost in translation in a town situated in tokyo japan itself so while she was there premiering it she was already thinking about her second film the cinematography in this film is is breathtaking at times and it does exactly what the filmmaker wants almost swamping us with visuals and congestion the multiple cityscape shots and visuals these really really wild visuals all add to this sensory overload which is exactly what bob and charlotte are facing every day they are there again this just goes back to the relatability charlotte is basically this young yale graduate that begins to question her marriage while being there she starts to feel that through her husband's busy schedule she is just another afterthought she's playing second fiddle to this professional success which surprise surprise is exactly how how Bob is feeling as well. The same human emotions from the strains of marriage. It's just at different times in their life. It's almost as if Charlotte starts to realise that her life could be exactly the same in the next 25 years if she's not careful about her choices that she makes. Personally, I don't think that Lost in Translation knew what kind of a cult success it would become, despite the fact that it gained major commercial and critical success. Both actors were in fact heavily praised. Bill Murray even received a Best Actor nomination at the 79th Academy Awards. So small pieces of independent cinema started to weave their way into Hollywood in the late 90s and early 2000s, signifying that big blockbuster films with massive budgets weren't the only way to gain success. Despite the likes of maybe say Titanic in 1997 that made as big a statement as you could possibly make on the film stage. You could say that 
Lost in Translation was even a pioneer in this type of cinema, and the great Sofia Coppola has continued to make independent work after 2003, with films like Somewhere and The Bling Ring, so they weren't really as successful, but still. Film was littered with improvisation as well, which in Bill Murray's case is not a surprise. Sofia Coppola described the film as a story about things being disconnected and looking for moments of connection. And I feel wherever I watch this, whenever I watch this, especially in this day and age, you don't really have to go to a completely different country to feel disconnected. And it does resonate. So I guess what I'm kind of trying to say is that Lost in Translation is a simple story that is really important for young and and even old people to watch today. You never really get to an age where it's too late to turn back and do something different with your life. So overall, cinematography, direction, and most importantly, the writing and the screenplay, which is one of the best independent screenplays there is, I would give this a solid 7.9 out of 10. Lost is an independent film that was nominated for Best Picture, Best Director, and ultimately won what it is best for, which was the best original screenplay. Its witty, relatable humour and cast character chemistry is why it's one of my favourites and why I think it will stand the test of time as one of the great indie cinematic greats. So there we have it. If you like this video, please hit that like button and stay tuned, subscribe for more independent content. And on that note, take care everybody.